a lot of excitement around GOP primaries across the country, particularly for U.S. Senate. And one of the hottest races in the nation is the contest in the state of Arizona, where the most recent polling data shows another very tight race. In our Race to November segment this week, we are joined by one of the leading candidates for U.S. Senate in the state of Arizona, the Attorney General of the state, Mark Brnovich. General Brnovich, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me on, Tom. Thank you so much. So the latest Trafalgar survey shows a statistical tie between you and Jim Lehman with Blake Masters in third, but not that far back. What do you believe gives you the edge in this primary? At, at the end of the day, um, you know, I've never done polling and I'm not a, a huge believer in polls. When I first ran for attorney general in 2014, I had never run for office, but you know, I grew up here in Arizona, I understood Arizona values, and I was confident that we would win because of my background and record. And it's the same thing in the US Senate race. I literally am running against guys that are being financed by multimillionaires that you know, really kind of frankly don't have the roots that I do in Arizona. And I have a real record. And so people can spend a lot of money and chirping and you know, goose their numbers, but at the end of the day, People here in Arizona and everywhere else want someone that's a proven conservative. So whether it's the border and you know all the lawsuits I have filed against the Biden administration, personally arguing at the U.S. Supreme Court, doing what I did at Bernovich v. DNC, arguing at the U.S. Supreme Court for election integrity, doing what I'm doing um, when it comes to suing the Biden administration, the federal government over overreach, like unconstitutional vaccine, ma vaccine mm -hmm. mandate. I mean, the list goes on and on, Tom. So at the yeah. end of the day, Arizonans are going to go with someone that shares their Arizona values, and they're not going to be seduced by, you know, some guy from out of state spending a bunch of money trying to buy a Senate seat. Now, when you're campaigning, General Brnovich, what is the issue that you hear most about? As you're going from diner to diner and you're going to these events, what's the issue that is really driving most voters today? Security. It's security. And what I always tell folks is that it's border security and economic security. And so anybody that's been to, you know, the gas station or the grocery store um, or is concerned about the gangs and crime all know that it comes down to our security. And so, you know, I'm, I'm a middle class public school kid. My parents led communism. And so I understand what the American dream is all about. And that means that people have to be able to afford basic necessities, like I said, gas and groceries. And, you know, when your AC goes out, you know, I worry about that because I know what it's like to have to worry to save to, you know, uh, save for your kid's college or, you know, worry about your AC going out. And so right. there's a lot of economic un uh, uncertainty right now, and right. people want that economic security. And at the same time, Arizona is on the front lines. And that's why I have been involved in so many lawsuits against the Biden administration, because they have ceded control of our southern border to our cartels. We know in places like Pima County, Arizona, you know, the number one cause now for teenagers is, you know, drug and fentanyl overdoses, mm -hmm. we know. And you know, Tucson homicides are up 60%. So the failure of the Biden administration and his enabler in the U.S. Senate, Cartel Kelly, have made Arizona less secure and more dangerous. And so yeah. people worry about their personal security, their economic security. So yeah. security in a nutshell. All right. Now, General, you, you've seen the influence of former President Trump on these elections so far. He's not made a formal endorsement in your race, but sp sources that we've spoken with believe that ultimately he's going to back venture capitalist Blake Masters. Trump had called into a town hall event with Masters to kind of hit you over the handling of the 2020 election. I want to give you kind of an opportunity to r respond to those dynamics um, and uh, and how you retain kind of your front runner status if something like that happens, given what we saw in Ohio this week? Well, look, I mean, uh, President Trump is, as you mentioned, the town hall, and he's, um, you know, called in some other events. So I think in a lot of ways, you know, those numbers you were talking about earlier, it's kind of already baked in. And at the end of the day, I think President Trump uh, recognizes that, A, I'm going to win this primary, and two, that when you care about issues like border security, when you care about issues like low taxation, low regulation, when you care about issues about appointing great federal judges, for example, a judge like my wife that President Trump appointed to the bench, um, and we've seen the impact of that in recent Supreme Court cases, when you care about life and the dignity of all human beings, I mean, I am the person to carry on that legacy. And so at the end of the day, I think anyone that says they know what President Trump's going to do hasn't spent a lot of time talking to him because at the end of the day, 
I am the candidate that can actually beat Mark Kelly and to make sure that we have an agenda that's consistent with the things that President Trump stood for. All right. Now, where can people learn more about you and your campaign? BurnoForAZ.com, B-R-N-O-F-O-R-A-Z.com. And I am very happy that folks like Sean Hannity and Mark Levin have endorsed me. And Hannity sometimes gives me a hard time about our website, but hopefully <laughs> people can remember it. BurnoForAZ.com. I need all the help I can get. I'm a, I'm a public school kid, so I urge folks to go to the website and help us out any way they can. All right. Arizona GOP Senate candidate Mark Brnovich, thank you so much for being Thanks with us. Time. The primary in the state of Arizona is August 2nd. Stay with Newsmax for all the latest.